Epistle to Mrs. Tyler by Christopher Smart Read for LibriVox.org by Leanne Howlett It ever was allowed, dear madam, Even from the days of Father Adam, Of all perfection flesh is heir to, Fair patience is the gentlest virtue. This is a truth our grandams teach, Our poets sing and parsons preach. Yet after all, dear Moll, the fact is we seldom put it into practice. I'll warrant, if one knew the truth, you've called me many an idle youth, and styled me rude ungrateful bear, enough to make a parson swear. I shall not make a long oration in order for my vindication, for what the plague can I say more than lazy dogs have done before? Such stuff is not but mere tautology, and so take that for my apology. First, then, for custards, my dear Mary, the produce of your dainty dairy, for stewed, for baked, for boiled, for roast, and all the teas and all the toast. With thankful tongue and bowing attitude, I here present you with my gratitude. Next for you apples, pears, and plums, acknowledgment and order comes. For wine, for ale, for fowl, for fish, for even all one's appetite can wish for, but O ye pens, and O ye pencils, and all ye scribbling utensils, say in what words and in what meter shall unfeigned admiration greet her, for that rich banquet so refined her conversation gave the mind. The solid meal of sense and worth set off by the dessert of mirth, wit's fruit and pleasure's genial bowl, and all the joyous flow of soul, for these and every kind ingredient that formed your love, your most obedient Christopher Smart End of Poem This recording is in the public domain